Hi, welcome to your For Sale by Owner Coach video series. My name is Nate Storm, and standing here next to me is Don Shipp. Don is a founding partner of Cadence Valuation, a downtown Chicago commercial and residential appraisal firm that has been in business since 1997. Thanks to Don, by the end of this video, you'll be equipped with the information that you need to accurately price your home. So Don, what things should a homeowner take into account when pricing their homes? Well, there are a couple of critical issues. First, if your property is priced too high, it may take longer than to sell, and if it does take longer to sell, it may not sell for as much as it may have if it were priced properly from the onset. Second, if it's priced too low, you run the risk of leaving money on the table, which nobody wants to do. Those are very important things to keep in mind. You just mentioned the importance of not pricing your home too high or too low. That said, what are the benefits of accurately pricing your home? Well, more buyers today than ever are beginning their search for their new home on the internet. And if you're not properly priced, it may not show up on their search results. And if it doesn't show up on their search results, it's not going to drive the kind of traffic that you need to drive to your pro to home to, to guarantee a high percentage of second showings. Is a professional appraisal necessary when pricing a home uh, for sale by owner? Uh, that depends. If you're in a market, in a neighborhood, let's say, that's got um, a high degree of consistency with the housing stock regarding age and design and, and, and an overall buyer appeal, it may or may not be worth your time to and your expense to, to hire an appraiser. If there's enough sales, it may not. You can probably figure out for yourself what the property is generally worth. However, if you're in a market that's got a much more diverse housing stock, maybe there's important locational distinctions within your neighborhood, it probably will pay you in spades to hire an appraiser who understands that market. So if getting a professional appraisal isn't always necessary, what information do automated valuation model or AVM reports, such as the reports on ForSaleByOwner.com provide? Well, those are a great place to start, Nate. They provide a wealth of information. Um, it's pretty generalized information, though, but it can certainly give you an idea of what the range of values for your type of house is in the neighborhood. It can tell you how many properties are currently listed, how many have recently sold. Keep in mind, though, that it's just a start. Um, they do have limitations in that they may not take into account particular characteristics in your home, which maybe set your home apart from some of the others that it's gathering into the, uh, the search results. Can anything be done so that a property appraises at a higher value? Well, absolutely. You only get one chance to make a first impression. Um, curb appeal is, is the biggest buzzword in the industry right now for somebody trying to sell a home. Make sure your house conforms to other properties in the neighborhood um, toward the nicer end of the, of the range for sure because the first thing you want to do is, is you want to make sure that people drive up to your home don't drive away. So make sure the house is appealing from the street. Second, for an appraiser, it's important that we get as much information, you know, first-hand information that we can. So, and not everything is obvious to us when we walk through a house. Uh, provide a list of recent mechanical, structural, or cosmetic changes or improvements you've made to the home. That leads me to my next question. What about a homeowner's return on investment for home improvement projects? Does that play a role in what, a, what price a home sells for? Oh, it certainly can. There's no doubt about that. Um, unfortunately, there is a bit of a misconception out there. Some people believe that there is a master formula that appraisers or tax assessors or real estate brokers or other professionals in this industry use in order to determine whether or not there's an, an added value in making an improvement to a property or in, and how much that value is. It's, it's very much a market specific type of concept. It's very important that you understand your market. That being said, if your market wants new kitchens but new kitchens consist of a laminate countertop and white appliances, you should probably consider that. Stainless steel and granite is probably an over improvement and it may not pay you to actually put those types of materials into your home. So much to consider. What additional research should be done to accurately price a property? Well, information, as I said earlier, information is the key. You should certainly visit internet sites that uh, specialize in, in, in real estate marketing. You're going to be able to get information that's going to help you to pr determine pricing for your home. Um, once you have identified some properties that you think are competing with yours, it's a great idea to jump in the car and drive those properties and see how they really do compare to your property. It's going to be a great resource for you. Thanks, Don. You've provided us with so much information. Um, is there anything else that should be taken into account when deciding on a listing price? Oh, sure. Be realistic. 
If your home is next to the local landfill, it's next to the local landfill and you can't change that. What you can do is make your house as attractive to potential buyers as you can. By doing that, you're going to hopefully avoid lengthy marketing times. Lengthy marketing times can result in leaving money on the table. And once again, we don't want to leave money on the table. Well, thanks again, Don, for providing us with so much insight. With your information for sale by owner home sellers, we'll feel confident when it comes time to price and sell their home.